and welcome to this week's episode of Poetry Thursday, featuring me, your amazingly good-looking host. Some exquisite supercars outside, and some beautiful women in bikinis right in front of me. And if you're female, don't buy that. You're not here. But you can come here. And if you're male, then... <laughs> you better believe they're here. Why else would you think I continue the show without getting many comments? And, uh, yeah. So, let's continue from here on. So, this week, I've seen Toby Turner have quite some influence on Mountain Dew. He asked his YouTubers to go spam the Mountain Dew Facebook page with the request of changing the name of the black, red and white Mountain Dew bottles to darkness and red is the whiteness since the uh, Turner always does an intro and an outro of darkness and red is the whiteness and now Mountain Dew has finally given us a limited edition bottle of intro of darkness and redness and whiteness. So, uh, if by spamming we can accomplish something like that, then uh, maybe you viewers can also accomplish something for me. Posters of Look at this amazing face. If you like it, please visit him, give him a phone call, or send him a mail, or simply leave a comment on his YouTube videos and that'll be all or visit his Facebook page which is also fine but that's not gonna happen but I'm still getting many beautiful women here and that's why I do this show you better believe it son or daughter or father or mother or friend or stranger Whatever you are, um, whatever, um, whoever you are, I'm I'm not doing this show for aliens. Although aliens can also be humans. Yeah. And um, this week I also got some very confidential information, which I'm not sharing with you, which should give you the impression that I can be trusted, which I can't be. about which I'm lying. Or maybe not. You don't know. Because you don't really... Yeah. yeah. Know me very well. Well, some people do. So... Who knows? Um, well, anyway, the first poem. Here it goes. Trespasser. Give me a break, annoying fly. Why won't you leave or freaking die? You wouldn't sit. You'd only fly. You escaped the tax. That made me sigh. Three days had passed and I heard you bad. Then you were finally tired, now I'm glad you're dead. So what's this all about? You stupid fly. Really? You're making a poem about a fly? Well, he was here for three days. He kept on flying. He almost never rested. And when he rested, I tried to swat him. He'd fly away. And he'd escape me. And, um, I never hit him. Well, usually, I easily kill a fly. So this one was flying around like crazy for three days in a row. Uh, I had heard him, but not killed him yet. And then uh, I finally killed him. Oh, oh, yeah, I killed a fly. Now I'm macho. You better believe it, son. Or girl. Or whoever you are. From air to dust. Who made you think that you were small, you had the money, you had it all. Why did you do this, acting like a giant? They grant your wishes, but you took the fall. They never told you, but you never asked. Although you knew the colors, they won't be unmasked. So, I was um, thinking of giving this poem the title Lone Sharks, since I first made the poem and then had to give it a title, but then I thought, well, it's actually meant broader than just f about loan sharks. So that's why I gave the 
broader title as well and from air to dust can be interpreted as from life to death which if you're watching this show you will probably die out of boredom or your brain might just explode because I'm too crazy or too funny or too good looking <laughs> too good looking wouldn't be really good if that made your brain explode and you'd be a pretty damn good girl but, um, hey. <laughs> I'm sorry if that happens so um, next poem I did know uh, the title one beforehand and that's because it's about monkey business and I love monkeys but I don't like monkey business unless it's literally monkey business then it's about monkeys. So monkey business. They're wearing suits and all working hard. Their fur is hairy, but they are smart. They really are stubborn, but they wag their tails. Although in a hurry, they don't leave any trails. These here are monkeys. That much is clear. They'll still steal your money, so there's reason for fear. So you might notice that they aren't actually monkeys. So um, about the next poem. It's about eyes. And um, I was actually thinking of doing about what you can tell about someone from someone's eyes, since you can tell pretty much uh, about someone by just looking into her or his eyes. So if you uh, look into my eyes for a couple of seconds... <laughs> Women love that shit. Um, I didn't say that. It's. I'll cut that out. I won't. Because this show is unedited and it must remain that way. So, uh, what did I exactly say? Sheet. Paper sheet. Sheet of paper. That's what I said. You know that's true. I just. Accidentally mispronounced sheet. That's it. That's that's my ex explanation. So, if you're watching this video, don't flag it. Don't you dare flag it. And um, if you're someone working at YouTube and you want to pull this video out, then uh, I I didn't say anything alike sheet, but pronounced differently. That was just your imagination. I can see it in your eyes. I know you aren't kidding me and I feel you want my trust. Even more I see your beauty and I can also sense your lust. I realize you're kind to me and you let me know you're there. I can smell your nice perfume and I like your pretty hair. But we don't belong together, which is what you said yourself. We could have been a couple, but you didn't trust my mental health. So on. And it was actually about something else than what I was planning to write about. Next thing, quotes. I just quoted myself. And again. And again. Well, I quoted silence, so... That's, that's a quote too, right? So, um... The actual poem, quote, and I quote, I didn't do that, and unquote, but yes you did, and he quoted, hallelujah, and unquote, he never prayed. Well she begged, please forgive me, but I bragged that I'm too good, then she said I still love you, but I left and she got mad. He told us this war is over, but I read this war goes on. I whispered I shouldn't live on, but in the present I'm still here. So what's this all about? Quotes. Um, well, yes, and it's also about people saying things and it turning out not to be true. Next poem, Zero. Um, yeah, if you're watching this um, and you know who you are, which I presume you know, 
and you're still watching and you are also still watching when I've ended this um, poem then by the end of the poem you will know um, that it is influenced on one of your videos and now I'm just speaking about one person well this video is for everyone yeah it's poetry Thursday so I can do that just speak to one person hey lady give give me a glass of nah nah never mind never mind <clears throat> It's both everything and nothing, both the beginning and the end. It's going on but isn't starting. It's in existence but can be seen. If you can solve this riddle, then it will also tell your fate. You won't like to hear it, but it's this you represent. You are living but also dying. You begin but yet you stop. Yes, you represent a zero since you're a nihilist. Uh, um, I mispronounced represent which I might still be doing. Um, uh, so I have the last poem in stock of you, uh, for you. In the, it's still down there in the description box. So, yeah, you might have already read it. And um, if you're leaving a comment, which last week, what? person did both on YouTube and Facebook combined and thank you I appreciate the comments and uh, I uh, appreciate responses all of you so I'm um, let's poem it's called Holy Trinity of Four Four and a Trinity well, the poem will actually explain itself. Please raise me well, my father. Holy Spirit, guide my soul. Son, listen to my biddings, and devil lead me to my goal. Without him there is no balance. Without, but, without him there is no balance, but without Beelzebub, no good. If nobody can be evil, there's no safe neighborhood. If nothing would be normal, everything would be strange. If we would all be formal, nothing would be in place. So it's basically just saying that if you don't have the good, then you don't have the bad, and so on and so on. So we need a devil to know what's good. That's why it's called Holy Trinity of Four. And, um, well, this was the show. And I uh, want proof of the beautiful woman in front of me. They're on the internet. They are. I just uh, printed out some uh, pictures and uh, they're hanging on my door. Oh, you want to check that? I think I'm a pervert. So which is true? Did I hang them there or didn't I? I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't do it. I'm not a pervert. Or am I? You just don't know. So um, anyway, thanks for watching and see you next week. Oh, and one last thing. Those of you interested in God's Apprentice, the novel I'm writing. Yeah, nobody seems interested. So, see you next week.